Accusing someone of cultural appropriation is reverse psychology racism. I'm going to explain to you why cultural appropriation is silly and absurd, and we should stop using those terms. Basically explaining why cultural appropriation, the term itself, is actually the very thing it's accusing other people of. You can't use that because you're not my kind. Well, we can't say that because that sounds racist. But if instead we said, I'd prefer you not to use that because it came from my people. That sounds way more G-rated, doesn't it? Yes, it is G-rated, sugar-coated, reverse psychology racism. I wear a sombrero. That's racist. Why? Because you're not my people. What? So if I'm not your people, I can't do something. Yes. And that's not racist. No, you're racist. I'm just wearing a hat. Now you're racist. But, but you're the one saying I can't do something. Let's just come at this from a different angle. They're saying cultural appropriation is, is that you cannot use something that came from my family's history. We invented that. Therefore, you can't use it. It is only appropriate for us because it came from us. We inherited something that our ancestors created. Let's talk about that. Let's start off with a little bit of American culture. And yes, it starts off with a couple white folks. One humongous part of American culture that's been there for quite some time now is American football. Modern football as we know it today was invented by a white man named Walter Camp who lived in the late 1800s. Walter Camp basically took rugby, the sport rugby, and he adjusted some of the rules and then that gave birth to modern football as we know it today. I'd say a diversified amount of people in the Americas have been influenced by American football, especially white folks. You would absolutely be able to say a lot of white folks heritage comes from football was created by a man that was white and it became a cultural thing for white folks but what changed is we shared this idea with everyone and nobody wanted to own football I mean yes there is the NFL but I mean literally just as an idea nobody owns the idea of what football actually is we don't own football we're not going to rip a football out of your hands and say that's ours summarizing here American football as we know today it is our thing it me as a white man as a Irish Ashkenazi, Jewish, British, French man, I do not own football. I, it is not mine. I do not own it. I will not say you cannot do that, even though it came from white people, right? Because that would be silly. I've read countless times online where people say, well, white people don't have a heritage, and it's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. You're, you're all literally using the heritage that came from white people because it's literally the biggest sacrifice that people have made is giving away their heritage for the bigger picture of we are all our own heritage now. We, we want to be a shared culture. Because the thing about America is the idea of the United States of America is to diversify our cultural beliefs and to share with each other the cultures that we have. It's, I know for a lot of white people and a lot of white heritage, it's been this thing where we've given the white heritage away for the American heritage, right? We don't need the white heritage. We want the our heritage, right? We, we don't want the mine. We want the ours. Moving on, baseball, invented by an American Civil War hero in 1839. His name was Abner Doubleday. That's a really unique last name. Apparently, baseball actually came from two different uh, games. One, which was a child game back in the day called Rounders, and two, cricket. Again, here's another sport that was invented by a man with white skin. But we're not here to just own that thing. We're here to share that thing. Who plays baseball and football? Americans. Okay. Americans with many different cultural backgrounds and beliefs and ethnicities. But here again, if I saw a Kenyan man holding a baseball, I'm not going to be like, a white man invented that. You can't use it. You will not catch me saying that's cultural appropriation. If I see a Persian man with a mullet and a mustache and a dip of Copenhagen in his mouth, I'm not going to kick open the front door to my trailer and be like, you motherfucker. Basketball. Hockey. Golf, all these things are part of American history, not white history. You could go as far back and say these were all invented by white people, but that would be silly because that doesn't matter. It's the American heritage, the American culture that's important. What the genius thing is here is everyone's being kind of trained to be divisive and separate from the pack, right? You're not American, you're Latino American, right? You're not American, you're African American. It, it's all these things to keep people separate from just claiming to be, you know what? Fuck it, we're here right now, we are American. I'm grateful for where I'm from, but right now I'm living where I'm at. This is the movement. 
I did the research in my own family and I found out I'm from fucking Israel. I found out I'm from, from Britain, France. I, I've got Scandinavian DNA. I've, I've got all sorts of different DNA in me. And at the end of the day, I don't want to claim just where I'm from. I want to talk about where I'm at. We are the movement. We are American. Getting fucked up because we're saying, no, 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 you are white. No, 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 you are black. Think about all the things that were created by white folks. All the things part of our heritage and culture. That would be so fucking silly to stop people from using just because we created it. The microwave. Invented by a guy named Percy Spencer and Robert N. Hall. The refrigerator. Invented by a guy named Fred Wolf of Fort Wayne, Indiana, I believe. Again, everyone can use a refrigerator because no one is claiming to own that shit. Even if my great-grandfather invented any of this shit, which, honestly, my family's been poor for as long as I remember, and as long as I've been told, we've always just been poor. Even if one of my relatives was fucking loaded and made it and invented something, I would still never claim that no one can use that thing because it's part of my history. Because my history... My heritage is everyone. It's everything. We're all part of this. We keep trying to subset ourselves into little, into smaller tribes of people. We keep trying to lose our identity with what's happening now with each other for an identity of where we came from, which is, look, I understand heartfelt that you need to know where you came from, but you also have to know where you are. That's where the problem is. We're still fucking trying to split our identity into these subcultures. You could, of course, walk around and say, I'm... I'm French American. I'm Ukrainian American because apparently a lot of my folks came from Ukraine as well. I understand one of the biggest reasons a lot of us are having such a hard time coming together is because of the origin story of America and how this land was literally stolen and taken. The absolute tragedy of how America started is actually really depressing and it is really fucked up the way this started um, and what happened to those poor Indian folks. But you know what? We are no longer there. Okay? We have to face what's happening now. And... Even if you go further back than that, I mean, there isn't a single civilization alive that hasn't done some fucked up shit, man. That hasn't stolen or taken from someone else or forced their way into someone else's way of life and just installed themselves. And that aggressive side of humankind's innate inability to just move forward as a new age human being of, of peace, right? We're still stealing and killing and robbing from people in our own neighborhoods and our own families, our own friends. I'm definitely not saying our origin story is fucking glorious and pretty because it's not. It's ugly and it's terrible. But we're no longer there, right? We need to we need to focus on here and now and the cultures that we're breeding together right now. First vehicle ever ever created, ever invented was a guy named Karl Bonds of Germany. A lot of America's upbringing comes from Canadians, Germans. There are some Russian upbringing stories. Um, and of course, there's, there, were, there were a lot of Europeans, yes. But nowhere in this does it say we own any of these ideas that have been come up with. While modern day, we consider ourselves Americans, a lot of our history and a lot of our heritage comes from somewhere else. None of us are really truly just the color of our skin, which I hope everyone understands. There is no centrical one white man, one white woman, one white culture. There are so many fair-skinned cultures. There are so many things that people could be really silly about and scream cultural appropriation over, but we don't do it. Because we've gotten so deeply ingrained and embedded with sharing information and sharing inventions and ideas with the rest of society that we've, our ancestors gave everything away to everyone and said, hey, here it is. All you have to do is buy it. Hell, you could start your own business and sell it. Don't care what color your skin is. Go do that. Have a fridge repair fucking business. Have a fucking AC repair business. Nobody is out here saying you can't fucking hold a football or a baseball or a basketball or fucking drive a car. Um, what we're hearing is there are all these things that we get in trouble for as Americans or just white Americans. If I was, if, if there was a, if, like I said, if there was a sombrero in my room, I'd get infinite flack for that. If I was a stand-up comedian and I made a joke about any race other than mine, I'd get flack about that. If I had dreadlocks or cornrows, I would still be getting screamed at for a cultural appropriation. I have no doubt that those things were created by many different cultures. The problem is people are refusing to blend with society, but they want all 
the, the benefits of society, of being blended with society. They want to reap the benefits of the fruit and not even water the fucking soil. Listen, this, this post here is not even remotely aimed at being divisive. It's really just spreading awareness of how silly this whole thing really is. And I honestly don't believe this cultural appropriation thing is something that exists on its own. I think these, this is another key word that was introduced into society to intentionally divide us. Because everybody wants to be part of a tribe. And what happens is, now this term cultural appropriation, it's created these mini little tribes of people. People saying, well, this is mine now. How silly would it be? For us to completely go backwards and say nobody can use anything we invented. That's exactly what cultural appropriation to me is. It is silly. It is silly. Because it just seems like this adolescent, out of touch, out of tune, just fucking thing. So how do we stop cultural appropriation? Resisting the urge to will it into existence. We're creating it by creating it. You do not have to obsess over the creator of something. You don't. You literally do not. You can absolutely give a head nod to whoever came up with something. And you could say, I appreciate it. But you, do, you also don't have to. We are diversified. This, the entire idea of living here is to share. I mean, every time you step in a car, are you like, thank you, Henry Ford? So again, how, how, how do we end cultural appropriation? The same way we end racism. We stop wheeling it into existence. We stop putting these divides between all of our different cultures and instead we really start to truly embrace the sharing of our cultures and ideas.